Familial hypercholesterolemia, FH. The contributions of ApoB, LDL, and lipoprotein little a. Presented by Dr. M. John Chapman. FH, ApoB containing lipoproteins, and LDLC. Today, I would like to talk about the most severe forms of familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH, and the contributions of atherogenic ApoB containing particles, particularly LDL and lipoprotein little a, in the development of early and aggressive atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis results from the deposition of cholesterol in the walls of arteries by particles known as lipoproteins. ApoB, of hepatic origin, provides the structural backbone of all atherogenic lipoproteins, which include VLDL, IDL, LDL, and lipoprotein little a. This is why ApoB concentration provides a direct measure of the number of atherogenic lipoproteins in the plasma. In patients with the extreme forms of FH, lifelong exposure to extremely high levels of atherogenic ApoB-containing lipoproteins, especially LDL and lipoprotein little a, results in the early development of aggressive atherosclerosis. Approximately 70% of the body's cholesterol is carried by LDL particles, so LDL cholesterol has become the standard measure of atherogenic lipoproteins. In the most severe forms of familial hypercholesterolemia, LDL cholesterol levels can be up to five times the desired level, despite maximally tolerated lipid-lowering therapies. Because of the nature of the genetic defects in patients with FH, standard lipid-lowering therapies, notably statins, have limited efficacy in these patients, leaving only invasive, non-pharmacologic procedures such as LDL aphoresis and liver transplantation as treatment options. These drastic approaches are often necessary because of the dramatically accelerated atherosclerosis in patients with this genetic disease. Lipoprotein little a, an atherothrombotic particle. Since its discovery decades ago, Lipoprotein little a has been associated with increased risk of heart disease, particularly myocardial infarction. More recent studies based on genetic analyses have identified lipoprotein little a as an independent causal risk factor for coronary heart disease and ischemic stroke. Structurally, lipoprotein little a is composed of an LDL particle attached to apo little a, a protein structurally homologous to plasminogen. Thus, the combination of an LDL particle and apo little a is particularly dangerous as it combines the atherogenic risk of LDL with the thrombogenic risk of apo little a. In other words, lipoprotein little a can be described as an atherothrombotic particle because it combines the cardiovascular risk from each of its components. In addition, there is evidence that lipoprotein little a carries pro-inflammatory oxidized phospholipids to the arterial wall, is retained in the arterial wall, accumulates in plaques, and contributes directly to disease progression. Lipoprotein little a levels are genetically determined and tend to be elevated in patients with FH. The impact of statin or niacin treatment on elevated lipoprotein little a levels is variable. This may be due in part to the size of the apo little a isoform, which can interfere with the ability of receptor proteins to bind to the ApoB ligand and clear the particle from the bloodstream. This makes it particularly important to assess lipoprotein little a levels in patients with FH as high levels of LDL cholesterol and lipoprotein little a may act synergistically to drive atherosclerotic plaque formation. 
Reflecting this, both the European Atherosclerosis Society and the US-based National Lipid Association have published recommendations recently noting the importance of including lipoprotein little a levels in the risk assessment of any patient diagnosed with FH and that levels above approximately 40 to 50 milligrams per deciliter should be considered as further increasing risk of premature coronary heart disease. Mechanisms of FH, a challenge of lipoprotein clearance and overproduction. People with FH have inherited mutations in LDL receptor genes that cause defective or absent LDL receptor function. Indeed, it is the LDL receptors that are primarily responsible for clearance of LDL particles from the bloodstream via a non-atherogenic pathway. High LDL levels in FH result in increased uptake of LDL in the liver through pathways other than the LDL receptors. This leads to increased production of VLDL by the liver and in turn to increased formation of all downstream atherogenic ApoB containing particles including IDL, LDL and lipoprotein little a. Thus the most extreme forms of FH reflect impaired clearance and overproduction resulting in very high circulating levels of atherogenic LDL and frequently of lipoprotein little a. Impaired LDL clearance due to LDL receptor defects leads to excess accumulation of LDL in the circulation. This in turn triggers uptake of these particles via non-LDL receptor mediated pathways in the liver. This influx of cholesterol is not homeostatically regulated and results in overproduction of ApoB containing lipoproteins by the liver including VLDL, LDL and lipoprotein little a. This cycle of impaired clearance and overproduction of ApoB containing lipoproteins contributes to extreme LDL cholesterol levels in patients with FH. Summary Patients with the most severe forms of FH experience a significant disease burden of early and aggressive atherosclerosis and present with extreme levels of LDL cholesterol. High LP little a levels are more common in these patients and are believed to contribute to premature coronary heart disease. Mechanistically, the mutations that cause FH impair clearance and trigger increased production of all atherogenic apoB containing lipoproteins, including VLDL, IDL, LDL, and lipoprotein little a. It's important to consider the role played by ApoB containing particles, particularly LDL and lipoprotein little a, in FH, and to look for these characteristics of this genetic disorder in your patients and in their families. For more information, access these consensus papers at eas.org and nla.org. For more information on familial hypercholesterolemia, go to www.fhjourneys.com. For medical questions, please contact Genzyme Medical Information at medinfo at genzyme.com or eumedinfo at genzyme.com. Brought to you by Genzyme, a Sanofi company.